USA back in action against Panama, uh, fresh off the 2-0 win against Bolivia. Hey, we actually won a wager, Jeff. Uh, we did. We got a clean, clean sheet, minus yeah. the goal and a half. However, I think there were some some warning signs. Uh, it looked like, a, 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 as some people out put it out there, it was like a cross and hope for the best with like 20-something crosses. Uh, they really didn't generate a ton of scoring opportunities uh, outside of the, the Pepe chances late. Um, it, it maybe looked a little bit like that once they got the early lead, they knew they weren't going to be threatened. So uh, I think there are some, uh, some things to improve yeah. on in this match, Jeff. Did you have any, any play on the uh, match against Panama? Uh, not, not yet. I'm going to wait for the text messages that we're going to send to each other. <laughs> like, hey, what, what, what are we doing? Um, I include the USA in a, in a money line parlay. I think it was Spain on the same day. So I was able to, or Argentina maybe it was, uh, kind of rolled over. Uh, for a couple of days. I, that's what I've been doing for a lot of these wagers, Bear, when these, and USA is not that big of a favorite in this game. You can you feel comfortable probably laying it, but, you know, just kind of putting a couple of these ones together to make a parlay just to make it more appetizing. Look, I, it's my first time wagering heavily on soccer, Bear, right? And I love you for sports it. Wagering. I'm, I'm learning the ropes of this. Um, it is, it's interesting, right? Because we've talked about this on this show. We've talked about it other times. When teams decide, like, we're not going to try anymore to score, the game turns into something that's much different. Yep. And the live betting opportunities, this feels like a sport that, at least for me, the novice who's doing this for the first time, I don't think any sport has a better live wagering opportunities. I mean, the, 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 the numbers, you know, if you have an anytime goal scorer and that goal score doesn't, you know, they don't score within the first, what, 25, 30 minutes, you get a plus number yep. yes, almost you immediately. Um, and, you know, we see often in these games, goals are not scored immediately. So, you know, it kind of sort of takes time to work it through and get a breakaway and get guys open and get a penalty. And so um, there's just a lot of opportunities to, to get some live wagers. Um, but, you know, I think I think USA sort of looked like I thought they would, right? They Again, we talked about this before, the lack of, of uh, elite, striker right bear that's kind of plays its way in a lot of these games the uh the way they play so um panama's given them trouble in the past right they have. i'm curious to see sort of if they're able to overcome what has been you know kind of a thorn in their side the way that panama's played them uh, the style they play and they've struggled with them um in the past right they lost in penalties just about a year ago uh to to panama so um i'm a little bit leery to lay the number here um, it's pretty big. I'm just looking up right now. So we have to find a way to get a parlay again, Bear. Yeah, maybe maybe U.S. or draw. Uh, the U.S. on the double chance would be a way. Uh, I think the big thing for this match is not only to get the result. Uh, Weston McKinney needs to be better. He, he, he did not look great. Uh, in the opening match, so I, I think against Panama, he needs to be better. Uh, Uruguay peppered Panama with chances as well. They easily could have been up 4-0 on that match. So uh, I, I think this is probably an under tight match. I think you're going to see a, a very similar match to what you saw in the opener against Bolivia. It feels like a 1-0, 2-0. So under 2.5 is my is my play here. Yeah. And, and, and we'll play U.S. to keep a clean sheet as well, just because I don't think Panama will threaten very much either. So uh, I'd like to thank Jimmy Conrad for joining us. Jeff, appreciate you as always. We'll be uh, back again as both Copa America and Euro 2024 continue as we advance into the knockarounds even further. Appreciate you watching on the YouTube channel. Appreciate you for downloading wherever you consume your podcast. Remember to rate, review, subscribe. And remember, the less you bet, the more you lose when you win. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.